Hello! Back from the 50s! And boy was it crazy. I think a lot of people liked this one the best. It, uh, at least I got a lot more compliments than usual. Probably because they could relate it more to Disneyland's Dapper Day, which this outfit would work if it was character -y because I would Disney bound if I went to that Dapper Day. But Slytherin in the 50s I think was a huge success. Uh, we're just going to dive right into it. So the hair, nice big curls and um, I did like the big bun type thing. Uh, just because of all of the research pictures, that's the one that I could do the best. Uh, and then I used, instead of a headband, I used my school tie, which... I know I haven't worn a tie as a tie in a while, and I probably won't anymore as I go further back in time, just because it's not really working out for proper women to do... Maybe I should dress as a guy. There's an idea, so some male fashion, gender roles. Uh, but yeah, wore a tie as a headband, had it sneaking out the back, people could kind of see, and it's got the uh, silver polka dots in it with the emerald color, and then held together with this cute little pin I found at a thrift store that's shaped like a bow, so it kind of went more with the 50s, and it matched this purse, which I love. Uh, it's a little clutch, holds my cell phone, my wallet, and really that's all I need when you go to Hogwarts. Except your wand, which I did not bring this time. Couldn't do any magic. Kind of a bummer. Say lovey. So my earrings um, are these big, like, darkish gray di faux, faux diamonds <laughs> uh, that match the purse and the pin, and then diamonds circling around. Um, they definitely didn't wear any, like, chandelier earrings or, like, real studs. So it was like, these are pearls. And I didn't want to go the pearls route just because I was doing Slytherin specifically. Uh, I think if I did probably Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff, you could do pearls. Gryffindor, I would go gold. You can still in the good gold era. Um, speaking of gold, did this ring, which is uh, actually over here. I should throw it back on. I took it off when I got home. I uh, brought it back. Got the Horcrux representing. Another thing I brought back was my Weasley is our King pin. Uh, still a big fan of it. I know if I've got it, you wear it. I know a lot of people wear their prefect badges and stuff all the time. And that'll come back once I finally get back into the Ravenclaw. <laughs> uh, maybe next time. Who knows? Ooh. Uh, so yeah, 50s was a lot of fun actual attire. Uh, emerald off the shoulder sweater very comfy and luckily it was cloudy and uh, probably normal cardigans would be slightly more where I want to be but I like off the shoulder and then I had the silver and black polka dotted dress that I wore under the, the sweater and it had uh, these fun tool frilly stuff coming out of it which gave it a little more poof uh, if you're gonna go 50s for reals you need a lot more poof, but I did enough poof in the 80s. You were there. You saw it. And then knee-high socks, because they're fun. And on top of the knee-high socks, I have ankle Slytherin socks. And I just wanted to pretend they were knee-high, so I wore two pairs, which was good, because the heels with the Mary Jane strap. And yeah, I wore character shoes, because those are what I had, and they were close enough. And that's what's most important about these, is that it's close enough. You get the feel, you know what you're doing, and when you're using your time turner, just, it's all about having fun. I have fun doing this. I hope you're enjoying watching these. I hope you join me soon. Can't wait to go further back. Follow me on uh, Twitter at DearPrue, Instagram at DearPrue7, and Facebook probably where you found this one, under my production site. Please send me questions if you got any. Love to talk to you. <laughs> Bye.